everybody welcome to the wild dog way i'm jessica and today's video is going to be a day in the life and it is in collaboration with sabrina from this simple happy life and abby from rooted and rest so when you have finished watching our day in the life make sure you hop on over and watch both of theirs we just kind of wanted to give you three different takes on what a homeschool slash stay at home day could kind of look like this is not going to be a typical homeschool day in the life for us mainly because we just got home from a week vacation and as you can see behind me here we have a ton of catching up to do we have stuff to unpack we have laundry to do we have you know a house to put back in order all of the normal things that go along with coming home from a vacation so that is mainly what our focus is going to be on today but I'm sure we're going to fit in as much educational opportunities as possible in the midst of, you know, our normal stuff. Laundry, unpacking, getting some work done because we took the whole week off. So we have a lot of work to catch up on, Kevin and I both. So that is really going to be what's happening today. So if you are really interested in a super realistic, very, very low-key homeschool day in life, stay tuned because that's what you're going to see. I want to listen day. Ooh, brains on. Why is it so hard to break a habit? I'd like to listen to that one. Okay, according to the directions, we're going to need um, three cloves of garlic. Now, this is much like an onion. It has a skin on it, all right? Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife, and you're going to lay it on top. Use the heel of your hand and press down. You're going Wait, to crush it. Part? Yep. Got it. And you're going to crush it. When you remove your knife, you're going to see that the outside skin is separated from the rest of the garlic. Then you'll be able to discard that. And then we'll be able to chop this up really fine to be able to put into our ingredients to go in to make the good potato soup we're trying to make, okay? Go so go ahead.
today we are going to be fighting for truth and freedom the American way. Yes, we are going to go full mode superhero. You guys, look! We were able to do it. We actually all got all of our suitcases unpacked and we have almost all of the laundry done and caught up. So yay, that was my biggest thing I wanted to get done today and it looks like we were able to do that. On top of the fact that between podcasts, documentaries, educational apps, and online classes, we were still able to weave in a ton of education and learning time. And I think we just about covered all of the subjects between listening to podcasts and listening to audiobooks and online classes and her cooking with Kevin and just all of the things. I think we still managed to touch on most subjects, even though absolutely none of it was directed by me today. So in case you too have days like that when you either are incapable of teaching or you just have other things that you need to do or maybe you're just sick, I'm going to leave some links in the description box down below for all of our favorite educational podcasts, apps, documentaries, and online classes. So you'll be able to check all of that out if you need to take a day off kind of like I did today. So that is pretty much it for the day. We will hopefully come back together after dinner. Luckily, because they made soup, we're just going to eat that again for dinner. It was lunch and dinner. Um, we always try to end our day with some sort of family time. So hopefully, if everything works out, after we eat dinner, we'll be able to come together and do something as a family. Sometimes that can look like us playing games, playing the Wii, having a movie night. I don't know what it's going to be tonight, but we really like to try to kind of come together at the end of our day and end it on a good note. So we'll see what that is. Hopefully we can fit that in. I think we can based off of time. It's only about seven o'clock, which is still pretty early for us. So we'll see.
All right, let's see who goes first. I rolled a two. 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 All you choose be two. <laughs> One. <laughs> me so and you get, me and you roll again. That was funny. <laughs> a six. Beat a six. A uh, six, 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 six. Oh, All right, five. so I get to go first, I but and I still win. I get to go second. I don't have a word, so I will draw a tile. Now you get to go, babe. Okay. Um, if you don't have a word, you can just draw a tile. No, hold on. I'm not rushing. I already spelled out a word. You spelled out a word already. But you know if daddy puts a word on there, the only way you can put your word is if it can play on his, right? Oh. And because he started. Start, as yeah, as long as, as it touches one of these four. Please be a part of my word. That's not I'm even... I'm keeping my fingers on because I ain't sure. Bind. Yeah, bind. And I get That's to redraw those close. You draw four, four more. Yes. Can I tell you my word? Mm -hmm. Vase. V-A-S-E. Vase. I had it already. Hmm, you could play off the B and do base, like baseball, like a base and baseball. That's perfect. Or base, like, uh... Alright, I got five. Okay, so I'm going to roll my dice. It's actually our order. I have a nine and a ten. So, I'm on zero, so what I'm going to do is take zero plus ten. Is 10 for that one. Yeah, because you probably don't want to do it. Well, zero times nine would just leave me at zero. Yeah, I don't want that. And then zero plus nine is going to be nine. So there's those two. I go next. Bonehead. <laughs> Your turn, babe. I was putting us in wheat no, order. five and five. Mm -hmm. So that means I got. So five. here's an example of how they used their doubles to make them powerful. There's two different examples of how they use them. Because you can do individual pawns and not the same pawn each time. Mm -hmm. Like you could add the dice up together, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's two separate moves. Yeah. I want to, of course, do the top one first. Okay. It is, you do take one of the fives and you go to five zero plus, plus zero five. is five. Mm -hmm. Then you go five times five. It's twenty five. It's twenty five. And then twenty five minus five is twenty. Twenty. Mm-hmm. And then times five is a hundred. Oh my gosh. Now that's only one. But that's it. Because that you you, you just use your four All on, on the one, one thing. Yes. You are an enchanted item, so now you can ask a yes or no question. Ooh. Am, am I the wand? No. Okie dokie. All right, now it's my turn, so tell me what I am. You are a character. Am I a girl? Nope. Okay. So I'm not female. That's what I should have said. Yeah, am I... you're not female. Okay, so what am I? You are a creature. Am my Dobby? No. Am I the dragon from Green Vaults? No. 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 Am I the magic, like the magic egg that Harry no. went underwater? No, I'm not that egg. No. no. Am I Ron? Yeah. You Yay! are Ron.